Hey, welcome to lecture five of Life Hacks in Personal Improvement. Uh, this one is on community and social involvement. So finding causes, ideas for volunteering opportunities and uh, fundraising options. Uh, this one's very close to my heart. I'm part of the Salvation Army corporate uh, and philanthropic board. So I help out with that organization uh, on a kind of monthly basis uh, in whatever capacity I can in the digital sort of strategy space. Uh, but I haven't seen too many uh, use cases of ChatGPT uh, related to, you know, community and social involvement. There's a lot of driving efficiency, you know, saving time, uh, looking at ways to generate money with the tool. But I think there's uh, room to utilize AI to do more good in the world and help people understand ways in which they can contribute to the world in a positive way and, and make an impact, particularly on their local communities. So the example I wanted to use was uh, find local uh, volunteer opportunities. And the prompt we've got here is, I want to get more involved in my community by volunteering. Can you help me find some organizations or causes that need volunteers in Brisbane, Australia? List, list the specific organizations. Yeah, it adds that caveat to say, look, um, I can't list those specific organizations, um, but will suggest the process in which you can get in touch. I actually did this before and it suggested those organizations. So I might um, try this again. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, there are some instances where if you haven't prepped it with enough context or you haven't engaged in that topic, uh, throughout the thread, it will, you know, have a hard stop and say, I can't do this. Um, just play with the input, resend it, refresh the page, and you'll eventually, um, you know, come to the result that you're looking for. <clears throat> so some great suggestions there, all real organizations, including the Salvation Army that I'm a part of, uh, and, you know, contextual uh, to the location that I'm suggesting. So let's maybe get some suggestions uh, for volunteering opportunities uh, for an area of specific interest that someone might have um, to climate change, let's try to climate change and uh, make the organizations Australia wide. Put the suggestions into a table and include their website and phone number if available. Come on, you can do it. There we go. I don't know what's happening with this current version, but maybe they're wanting to strip back the ability to do a table because people are uh, getting a bit crafty with the software, uh, but it still seems to get it done if you persist. Um, it's got the caveat there that the phone numbers might not be available on the website. Um, but uh, I assume <clears throat> many of these links, I know Climate Council's are one. Yeah, you'll just have to double check on the links themselves. acf.org.au, acf.org.au. That's weird, that should have worked. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so that's how you can tailor some of those suggestions. Um, maybe you can get further guidance as to how you can get in touch, um, provide what's going on, provide some suggestions as to how I can best get in touch with these types of organizations, as well as an email template I can use to ask if there are any volunteering no opportunities available. So again, giving you that, that personalized um, guidance specific to climate change uh, and the steps you can take in order to understand if there are opportunities 
So visit the website, send an email, really pretty straightforward, uh, and then providing um, a template to be able to reach out. I hope this email finds you well. My name is blah, 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 and I'm writing to inquire about volunteering opportunities. I'm particularly interested in volunteering with an organization that focuses on climate change, environmental sustainability. So if you're looking to get in touch with a large group of organizations, you know, template is a great approach to save some time, but uh, certainly add, you know, some personalization to that, um, whether through ChatGPT or editing it manually to ensure it's, it's contextual to your situation again. So I have that example down there. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Look, there's uh, plenty of other ideas in here as well, uh, but you can see how you can um, you know, weave the conversation towards uh, the next steps you can take and uh, some ways in which you can save time because this process of getting in touch with a, an organization or doing that research may be a point of friction for people actually wanting to get involved, but when they can get that tailored advice as if they've got some kind of volunteering and community involvement consultant they can ask these questions to who are based in their city uh, this is a great way to you know reduce those friction points and, and help you quickly um, you know find out more ways in which you can contribute to your community so i hope this was interesting um and valuable uh honestly the warning probably is, is more of a medium risk but i put high risk because it sometimes hallucinates those uh, suggestions uh, but you just need to do your fact checking and, and double uh, check that uh, those are real organizations and real phone numbers uh, but you can see how much time this can save you in the process of finding out um, volunteering opportunities excellent all righty see you in our second last lecture cheers bye